ಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಶಿಪಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಕಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರುಂಜನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀರ್ತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲಭವಾಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನುಕಂದಮನೀಕ್ಷಟಾ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಉಪವಧೂಷ್ಣದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಾಂ ಕರೋಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಪೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾ ತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಭರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯು ವದನೆ 
लक्ष्मीर्यश च वक्षसी यस्ति हृदय संबीतिशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अहो बतो शपच तो गुरियान जज्जीव भाग्यवर्त ते नाम स्तुभ्याम ते पुस्तपस्ते युहुषुस्नुराजा ब्रह्मान उजुर्नाम गृह जेते अहो बतो शपच शपच तो अहो बतो शपच तो गुरियान जज्जीवाग्रिवर्त नाम तोभ्याम ते पुस्तपस्ते जुहुषुस्नुराजा ब्रह्म ब्रह्म ब्रह्मानुचूर्नाम गृह जेते गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन श्रीवासांगन दैट श्रीमन महाप्रभु संकीर्तन पिता श्रीमन महाप्रभु संकीर्तन पिता इन श्रीवासांगन दैट नाम संकीर्तन दैट यज्ञाग्नि इज जस्ट बर्निंग दैट फायर इज बर्निंग ऑल द टाइम दैट संकीर्तन यज्ञाग्नि those people who who are given who have given their whole life all the time they are giving their life in that that is actually actually called a gaudiya bhakt each and every devotee of gaudiya math has to do naam sankirtan ya gyagni they have to sacrifice themselves in that so they are all the time ready to sacrifice themselves in that ya gyagni of korang mahaprabhu in shri vasangan दैट संकीर्तन यज्ञ अग्नि दैट महाप्रभु हैज जस्ट फायर डिट अप एंड दिस संकीर्तन यज्ञ अग्नि दैट इज द एक्चुअल दोज एक्चुअल साधु ऑफ दोज गौरिया मठ दोज वर एक्चुअल सेवक ऑफ गौरिया मठ दे आर बाय दैट मीडियम दे आर ऑल द टाइम दे हैव जस्ट फायर डप फायर दैट अप ऑल द टाइम that uh, sankirtan yagya agni will get fired up it will not uh, be uh, switched off so in mat in mat mandir on all the temples if we are uh, unable to in in every mat and temple if we are unable to just fired fired up this uh, sankirtan yagya agni in the temple then at that time what will happen then fighting will uh, start in temples all together with each other and it will just destroy everything all around la puja pratishtha whatever all this dust particles proper speaking la puja pratishtha if we will be just uh, if this is actual sankirtan yagya agni and uh, if we will just sacrifice in that that flame of sankirtan yagya agni definitely if we are unable to uh, maintain that flame of sankirtan yagni slowly steadily la puja pratishtha and all those dust particles will definitely be uh, getting inside our uh, heart and our heart will become more feeble and weak and we will start fighting with each other why because naam sankirtan apart from naam sankirtan there is nothing else there सबसे ऊपर दैट नाम संकीर्तन इज द टॉप मोस्ट नाम संकीर्तन महाप्रभु जी हैज जस्ट शोन अस एंड दिस नाम संकीर्तन शुड गो ऑल द वे एवरी टाइम श्री नाम संकीर्तन इज द टॉप मोस्ट दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट भजन 
श्रीमान महाप्रभु एंड ऑल दोस्त गोस्वामी सिद्धांत प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट नाम संकीर्तन इज टॉप मोस्ट यू मस्ट हैव रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट दैट दस्ट कम ऑफ गोस्वामी षड गोस्वामी You have to just forget this. You have to uh, remember this point. It is already written there. Shankha purva ka naam gana na tivi kala vasani kito nitya har vihar kadi vijito chakta to dino chhu. It is all written. That is it. Written in Shankar Goswami Ashtakam. Raghunath Das Goswami used to do two lakh hari naam. And uh, at the same time, he used to do Dandavat Pranam. 2000 vaishnavs by taking 2000 names of vaishnav he used to do two dandavat pranam maybe speed doing one dandavat and then getting up then again paying dandavat then getting up like this 2000 times 2000 vaishnavs name he used to speak if someone will do definitely he'll become sick one doctor please call a doctor he will do like that because they are doing with prem bhav whatever we are doing it is as a duty we are doing the whatever we are doing everything we everything we are doing but as a duty not out of love we are doing from our heart we are not doing that at all if it is done by heart then definitely we will be not uh, having any worries about ourselves today also in my at my age also i am just uh, thinking of my age and the childhood after 6 to 8 hours of playing there is no weakness inside me how it is possible how much i have to play uh, but no weakness was there at that time why that is the actual rules when you will be doing by heart then there will be no tiredness inside your heart when you will be doing it yeah you will be doing as duty then you will be um, feeling uh, tiredness will be there that's why prabhupada speaking that is a fixed thing it is a definitely fixed thing that shriman mahaprabhu and all the shad ko swami is has told on the basis of siddhant vichar they have just told that shri naam sankirtan is that the topmost bhajan and shri man naam sankirtan is the actual uh, in the limb of all the bhaktis that is the top muslim important that is the top most important important means uh, is top most from all the bhakti limbs Uh, up till this point, Mahaprabhu has told about uh, that. What Prahlad Maharaj has told about the nine limbs of bhakti. Out of sixty-four limbs of bhakti, okay, you are not out of that sixty-four limbs of bhakti. It is there. After that, uh, uh, he is uh, just speaking about the five important limbs of bhakti. What Mahaprabhu told. those five limbs of bhakti they are there no so these five limbs of bhakti in that sadhu sang sadhu sang mathura vas shiv ghar shraddha sevan harinam sankirtan aap bhagavat katha so paanch these five mahaprabhu has given this guarantee that if you will be just following these five limbs of bhakti if you are just doing even one limb of the bhakti out of these five then definitely you will get delivered even if once you definitely they can provide you krishna prem as well but other badarang bhajanang if you will be doing then mahaprabhu speaking or and ajiv ko swami pad is also speaking in bhagavat sandarbha has written ajiv ko swami pad has written in bhagavat sandarbha and in bhakti sandarbha also whatever he has written shila jeev ko swami pad in bhagavat sandarbha he has written anantam that in bhakti sandarbha sorry maybe that is bhagavat sandarbha also that is bhakti sandarbha in bhakti sandarbha he has written shila jeev ko swami pad that about the in the seventh canto of bhagavatam in kram sandarbha also he has written what he has written jatapi anya bhakti hi kalu kartavya tada kirtana kya bhakti sangyage naivo atha means 
Maybe in Kalikal there is uh, no other limb of bhakti, eight kind of bhakti or nine folds of bhakti is not possible. Why eight eight kinds? Because ninth where there is ninth all uh, the Sankirtan is already there. So that's why in nine nine in nine fold of bhakti eight are already there. So that's why Shiv Goswami was speaking that maybe in this Kalikal there is uh, eight kinds of bhakti yang that Anushthan in that uh, context it is a duty to do this uh, kind of eight kinds of bhakti those eight kinds of bhakti uh, maybe mathura vas maybe sadhu sang whatever is there maybe bhagavad katha shravan all the time that kirtana uh, hmm, bhakti is the top most you have to do it all the time by the Kirtan Akhya Bhakti, by that context, it is, to, uh, it is to be done by that all the time. Mahaprabhu has already told this point. It is already there. In Padma Purana also it is written. It is already written in Padma Purana also. Onto the lotus mouth, that one Nam, Harinam, is going to dance on his tongue. Then definitely he will be getting out of this material world delivered. It's already written there. So Prabhupada speaking that Sriman Mahaprabhu and all those Shad Goswamis according to their vichar, Siddhant vichar, that Sri Nam Sankirtan that there are a lot of uh, that, but Nam Sankirtan is the topmost it is already written there so that Nam Sankirtan is the topmost Shri Krishna Nam Sankirtan is the uh, in the Bhakti Yang it is the topmost uh, Bhakti Yang there are 64 limbs of Bhakti in that that is the topmost limb of Bhakti Shravan Kirtan Shravan Smaran Shravan and Smaran, whatever you will speak, that it is uh, under Nam Sankirtan only. Smaran, Shravan, Smaran, etc. I have just told this five to seven days back, this kind of HR that I have told that this is in series, that Shravanam, Kartanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, these three, first three, they are all interrelated to each other. That is a fixed thing. Because whatever, when when I will be doing Shravan, definitely I have to do Kirtan. And if I will not be doing Kirtan, then how I can do Shravan? So, in order to do Kirtan, for uh, me to, in order to do Kirtan, in order to do Shravan, definitely someone has to do Kirtan. And if he will do Kirtan, then how to do Kirtan? If no Smaran is there, then how to do Kirtan? In Shravan also, that Smaran is there. First is Smaran. And in, Kart, in Kirtan also, Smaran is first. So, in all these three are interrelated to each other. If some problem is there in one of the thing, if Smaran is gone, then uh, if, if Smaran is gone, remembrance is gone, then how Kirtan is possible? And if you will not do Kirtan, then how I will hear? So these all these are interrelated to each other. But still, I have just told this five to seven days back. But still, Prabhupada actually speaking that Shri Nam Sankirtan is that Shri Krishna Nam Sankirtan is the topmost bhakti limb. That is the topmost in all the bhakti limb of bhakti. Why? Because Shravan, Smaran, etc. are actually under Nam Sankirtan only. That Shravan and Smaran, they 
are under uh, when now there is there is no no nam sankirtan then who will hear then when who then he will not hear then how he can remember and proper speaking that shravans shravan kirtan etc whatever other limbs of bhakti are there adi means etc means whatever other bhakti ang are there proper speaking you see at shravan shravan smaran etc they are all uh, under naam sankirtan and uh, without the kripa of shri naam there cannot be uh, cannot we cannot get a leela inside our heart that leela will not get manifest when when naam prabhu will do kripa it's already written in kirtan bhakti no thakur so without the kripa of naam that leela cannot get manifest in sanna heart because in naam sankirtan everything is there etc have already told about jeev goswami but from sandarbh i have told so whatever is there now prabhupad actually speaking that which are that shravan samaran etc they are under naam sankirtan only and shri without the grip of shri naam then leela cannot get manifest inside our heart without kirtan if we are just uh, doing some smaran separately then it is uh, it is foolishness it is useless that without doing sankirtan and separately you are doing some smaran in a very silent mood in a silent place you are just doing uh, doing leela smaran then it is all useless without kirtan if you are separately doing some smaran etc proper speaking that is called nothing else why because i have already told you can remember when propat vaishnav ke likha has written vaishnav ke at that time there is in one verse it is written there kitana bhavave smarana hoi ve shakale bhajan nirjan sambhav this propat has already written definitely i i have just written it to this uh, commentary on this you just see that it is written propa speaking that when kirtan slowly steadily that smaran is coming at that time nirjan bhajan is possible before that it is not possible kirtana bhavave smarana hoi ve shakale bhajan nirjan sambhav use samay at that time only nirjan bhajan is possible maharaj that you are going in a very silent place but your heart is actually material no that's why that thing is i am just uh, picking up uh, few days back when priyavrat brahma ji uh, brahma ji actually speaking to priyavrat priyavrat don't want to get into sansar material world, material things but uh, his father is actually speaking to brahma ji that you just need to take my son back because i am just becoming old i have to leave my body but he is not coming back i have just uh, called him so much but he is not coming back then brahma ji just came to priyavrat and just uh, speaking to him and after that he is just coming back to the kingdom and uh, he is just becoming and giving all his the kingdom to him but he is not at all ready to take that he is all gone to the forest to do bhajan and then narad ji maharaj is actually upadeshta he is not a normal person narad ji narad ji maharaj is a is an acharya upadeshta and he is just learning in a very silent place he is just learning about bhajan in dronal dronachal uh, cave he is just uh, uh, and the narad ji maharaj is giving him updesh but brahma ji speaking that you don't do this beta you just need to come back and have to just uh, uh, get the reign of the kingdom and uh, you see me shankar bhagwan all actually indra varun everyone they just need i have everyone is just following the instructions of bhagwan we are actually following the instructions of bhagwan 
we are not at all going on our own bhagwan has just given us the instructions that you just need to do this seva so we are just doing that so why actually you are so much uh, uh, have so much anxiety inside your heart why you are feeling tension then you will go to the forest you see that material mind with your material mind you will go then definitely this material mind will uh, definitely it, it will not be possible for you to stay in our silent place because your mind is material always thinking of material things your material mind is going and material mind will definitely put you in trouble and this in order to get this material world uh, in this material world when you will be staying externally internally that material world material thing should not get inside your heart it is like a boat it will definitely in the would stay in water only no it will not be if the boat will stay in water that is the actual rules but if if the water will be in the boat then definitely the boat will get uh, drowned in the water what you speak is with that kishti mat one kind of play one is playing oh kishti mat we haven't actually understand what is kishti mat but that when water is when boat is there in the water it is okay then it is okay there is no problem but when in boat water gets in then there is problem then the boat will get drowned in the water so the thing is that beta that you just come back and this material world after that you just stay in this material world that is more practical to stay in this material world after that priyavrat just came back brahma ji just take him back to the kingdom so shravan kirtan all those big big mahajans and big big vaishnav they always stay in a silent place they all the 24 hours they are doing smaran of bhagwan inside their heart and that leela etc all actually is manifesting inside their heart but today we are not at all paying any attention on that that by sankirtan only everything is possible that when you will go in a nirjan place then your situation will become more worst and when you will be staying in front of guru vishnu that is called nirjan bhagwan is speaking this point one speaking this point bhagwan in bhagwan ji mahapurana is written this bhagwan has just told this in bhagwan ji mahapurana also so this actually it's written that you just need to stay with guru vishnu that is called satvik vas gram vas rajo vas this already tamo vas that is the worst kind of vas gram gramam tu rajo samuchar rajas vas means rajo gun in the when you will be staying with guru vishnu that is called top most that is called to stay in nirjan so prabhupad actually speaking that without kirtan and separately you are doing smaran this is all kind of material uh, material requirements you are doing material material desires in vaishnav ke also prabhupad uh, speaking this point it's already written there potishthare tore nirjanar ghare tabo hari naam kevan koitta patishtha prapti karne by just taking pratishtha in order to get pratishtha you are just going uh, this uh, doing drama of doing naam in a very silent place what you are doing only drama that's why it is written there potishthar tore nirjanar ghare tabo hari naam kevan koitta bekar it's all useless whatever the human civilization that more to human human civilization has made and just had uh, this 
Sankirtan they are just uh, produced. That is not at all Naam Sankirtan. Prabhupada speaking, that is not that is Nama Parad, what they are doing. By their own will what they are doing. Prabhupada has just told this point that uh, there is one Baba actually of other place that whatever you are speaking, Pajari Nita, this actually speaking, this is actually Nama Parad, Naam Nama Nama Parad it is. This is not at all good. But still, he is uh, not listening to Prabhupada. He is just speaking this. So that's the point. All useless. So the human civilization, what they are that actually producing one kind of uh, material sound, it is not Nam Sankirtan. Whatever words they are producing, that is not at all Kirtan. That is called Nama Prat. It is actually Nama Prat Kirtan. They are, they are actually not uh, uh, Krishna Indriya Tarpan. This is not a bhajan of Krishna Indriya Tarpan. They are, the, it is a bhajan of sense gratification. They are just uh, want to, that is just, they just want their own sense gratification. That is the greediness of their own sense gratification. Means that in the name of bhajan, it is one kind of enjoyment. And it is just uh, aparad, nothing else. Shri Krishna Chaitanya, that is the topmost bhajan. Other than that, there is no bhajan. Whatever uh, commentary or something they have done, that is nothing. It is nothing. The Shri Chaitanya, what the coming out of the lotus mouth of Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that is actually Nam Sankirtan. And by this Nam Sankirtan only, that Prem Sampati you will get. Before, uh, uh, um, apart from that, you will not get that Prem Sampati. That treasure of Prem you will get by that only. There is no other pathway. This Nam Sankirtan is what all those Sadhu, Sadhu Guru Vaishnava are there. That whatever is there given by Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, it is already the conclusive thing. That is the Swayam Prakash Nama Amrit. That Sankirtan is, that is Swayam, that is Swayam Prakash Nama Amrit. If it is just coming in one of, one of the sense organs, that it is just giving rus to all the, giving an inundation to all the sense organs inside our body. That is Swayam Prakash. That Nam Amrit, only one, uh, it is getting Avirbhav in one sense organ and giving rus to all the material sense organs. Actually giving all nectar to all the sense organs inside our body. And everyone is just getting uh, flooded with prema. So where all the four directions there is flood of prema, what we can see. Everyone is uh, just uh, flooded in prema. This Prem actually when that flood has come, then if someone is Daridra at that point, his uh, demon is there, then definitely he is actually Daridra because his nakedness cannot get uh, complete at all. His nakedness will not get finished at all. He actually, he definitely will be Daridra. His uh, luck has been so ill. He has been destroyed. Mahaprabhu Shri Krishna Chaitanya has just told about this point. Has just uh, written one Siddhant in Chaitanya Chaitanya What? Kali 
what is written there? That in bhajan, the Navvida Bhakti is topmost. And that Krishna Prem can get produced. Even Krishna we can get. Krishna Prem. In between that, Nam Sankirtan is the topmost. In that, Nam Sankirtan is the topmost. You just be sure that in that, uh, when he is just leaving all kind of ten Nama Prad and Seva Prad, when he is doing, uh, doing Harinam without any Aparad, then definitely it will come in our hands. Prem will come in our hands. That will That is not a big problem. That slok which I have already started with, <coughs> that is the topmost slok from Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. Hey Bhagwan, by birth, that Swapaj that who is just uh, already taken birth in the lower family, he is also stretched topmost. If that on his tongue that Krishna Nam is going on, on his tongue your Harinam is all the time dancing on his tongue, that is topmost. Those who are actually, those who are taking your Nam, Though whatever tapasya he has done, whatever uh, uh, tapasya ya yagya he wants to do, those who are always just uh, taking the name of yours. Mahaprabhu actually speaking to Haridas Thakur. Mahaprabhu actually going to speak to Haridas Thakur. Mahaprabhu, no? What's his name? Uh, sorry. Uh, Sanatan Goswami was actually speaking. You, you do this uh, Harinam, that what Sankirtan you are doing by this Nam Sankirtan, even f- fraction of second, each and every second, you are just taking uh, the uh, bath in Snan, you are taking bath in uh, Tirth and Yagya, everything is done in Nam Sankirtan. So Bhagwan, who actually just taking your name, he is uh, actually doing everything. All kind of yagya, tapasya, whatever is there, tirth hatan, tirth snan, tirth bathing in tirth, ved, uh, stuti part, vedic injunctions, whatever is there, everything is done. So those who are sapach, who are from a low born family, who are just taking, uh, who are taking meat of a dog, who is actually, all these devotees, actually Bhagwan is just uh, uh, taking birth in uh, uh, the low born, low class family. That is actually just uh, anukul to your uh, bhakti in order to just prove that that uh, bhakti can be there in each and every jiva and each and every person, whatever caste and creed he is taking birth, bhakti can be there in the nourished form, then how it is possible like that? How it is possible like that, that Haridas Thakur has just taken birth in uh, Yavan family, Muslim uh, family? How it is possible like that? How it is possible that Jadu Thakur has just taken birth in a low class, low born family? How it is possible that Shabri, Billy has become Billy Wai? How it is possible that Gohak Chandal has uh, just uh, taken birth in uh, uh, Chandal family where Sri Ram Chandraji has uh, get friendship with him. So it is like this that uh, Bhagwan, with his own desire had just want to just want to break the false ego inside our heart. That Bhagwan always want to break our false ego that hill of that that hill of uh, that I am from a very big family a lot of money I have all this Bhagwan want to just uh, uh, break that and destroy that Bhagwan that's why he's actually just uh, giving uh, avirbhav to those all those uh, bhakti devotees 
to a low family that is just one kind of uh, excuse by bhagwan it is just nothing that uh, that is actual glorification of bhagwan that is a topmost vichar if you just think of that lot of vichar are there sutokoshaipada like shuto sutokoshaipada also speaking horam jan nam viraso krnano tato satya vimuchet jat vibhet swayam bhaya shila sutokoshaipada shila sutokoshaipada also speaking to sanakadi rishi kya bataye what what he has told is very fearful of them for those people yamraj is also fearful to those people and even the time is also very fearful to them like kapil ji maharaj is actually speaking to her mother devahuti what is what is speaking like son he is giving actually heat to us the sun is just by my fearfulness what this wind is actually blowing it just because of my fearfulness they fear me so like this they have to they have told in the shastra like this kapil ji maharaj is telling to his mother mother everything is just uh, doing by my fearful mood apanna sansadim ghoram jan nam vivaso krnan tato satva vimuchet jad vidhit swayam bhayam jinko mahakal mein darta hai those even mahakal is also afraid of them even yamraj is also getting fearfulness bhay bhi bhay bhi ho jata they become very fearful about that 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 bhagwan naam just by taking bhagwan naam all the to fearfulness of this sansar dangerous situation of the sansar definitely uh, will get destroyed by just taking his name naam sankirtan everything is getting uh, rectified on the spot those who are always in this sansar in this uh, very fearful and dangerous sansar material world if uh, he actually wants to if we were just uh, speaking just uh, naam sankirtan uh, with a very fearful word then everything will get uh, destroyed instantly you will get out of that instantly that is the actual uh, glorification of uh, shri bhagwan that is the actual glorification of bhagwan naam bhagwan that is the glorification of shri naam sankirtan yesterday i was just discussing about this point we were actually of uh, for the shlok of 33rd shlok of shikshashtakam this we were discussing and we were just going ahead in this bhakti mo thakur is there vichar of bhakti mo thakur is there very nice vichar is there bhakti mo thakur actually speaking okay there already we have just told this point the shloka what is this kirtaniya sadahari this kirtaniya sadahari that for each and every one all the time hari kirtan that is the topmost duty for everyone for each and every person for each and every person each and every jeeva all the time it means that each and every time this uh, naam sankirtan you have to do that is the topmost thing because you don't know what time you never know at what time i just need to leave this body in the life of parikshit maharaj also there is only 7 days in his life 
that after seven days definitely you need to leave this body and uh, uh, he, in that seven days he just then get the conclusive result but i don't know i don't have even fraction of second how to get off so there is actually no guarantee in my life that how when i will die so that's why mahaprabhu speaking that all the time hari kirtan to do hari kirtan that is very much important all the time you have to do naam sankirtan that is very very important in bhagwat ji mahapuran also half an hour before i have told hey rajan those who are in this already getting out of this material world and who have got this ekant bhav in this material world definitely they are actually don't have any kind of heavenly desires to get material or heavenly desires though are always wanting these heavenly desires and uh, who are actually asking bhukti for them hari naam that hari naam that character characteristic and symptoms of hari naam it's already there that upadesh is given instruction is given to do hari naam sankirtan all the time to glorify hari naam all the time whosoever is there for everyone this naam sankirtan is very much important very very essential under the guidance of gurudev or under the guidance of vaishnav with uninterrupted way non stop you just need to do naam sankirtan there is two kinds of definition under the guidance of anu guru anugatya and there is another meaning that anukshan that without any gapping under the guidance of guru vishnu you will do naam sankirtan all the time so this shraman kirtan smaran these are all the three major sadhan sadhan three main sadhan guru vishnu have just made this uh, uh, in front of us conclusive result in front of us has just presented that it is written there that when there is no trinadpi then definitely hari naam can't to be getting on our tongue when uh, they we don't have that trinadpi bhav we can't do hari naam at all this is the actual condition aur mukundmala and in mukundmala stotra also bhakti mo thakur speaking that at all if uh, whatever the false ego of your body and your heart and your mind you just need to leave that like kul sekar is just speaking this is actually a true thing this sharir this body actually is just made of thousands of joints like there in ganga there are lot of uh, joints in the same way this body is also made of thousands of joints still this body is just need to fall down already they are in the fallen condition this body is that is parinam dai parinam means the result that what will be the result that that after birth you will be just getting matured and getting your youth stage and after that the maturity you will get everything will be done that some re- conclusive result is there that it will not stay in one position it means that definitely his reaction will be there it will not stay in one position it will definitely transform whatever your body is there definitely it will get more mature matured and in the age of 80 and in the 60 years of age uh, what will be the transformation of body the sense gratification will be uh, he has done lot of uh, efforts to do sense gratification that why he has just got into fallen condition so this kind of things all happen so in this we just need to do it without any false ego what is the actual medicine you are uh, seeing what kind of medicine you are uh, finding for this you are foolish you don't know that only all the time krishna naam sankirtan that ras 
you just need to take that's it that is the actual medicine to treat this what is the actual medicine you are asking you are asking what is the actual medicine you are actually foolish number one you are not understanding the point you are actually foolish and you are in your f- most fallen condition whose uh, mind is not at all good who is always having a demonic mind you don't know that all the time that krishna naam ras that is the topmost thing that is the topmost ras to get
if any person or any object we are getting attraction we it is not at all good like this if some attraction is there then definitely that should be we should get attraction onto the lotus feet of guru vaishnav and in hari katha otherwise everything will just be putting in in the ocean of happy unhappiness there is just a 2 minutes of happiness and after this infinity time infinity period we just need to get into distressfulness bhakti no thakur has just told this Also, you are doing prachar also. 
यू आर एक्चुअली आचार्य ऑफ हरिनाम यू आर आउट ऑफ ऑल द पार्शद ऑफ ऑल द महाप्रभु समवन हैज दिस काइंड ऑफ बिकॉज नाम संकीर्तन इज टॉप मोस्ट एंड यू आर द आचार्य ऑफ हरिनाम सो दैट्स वाई यू आर टॉप मोस्ट बट एक्सटर्नली यू आर शोइंग दैट यू आर फॉलन दैट आई डोंट आई डोंट हैव द अधिकार टू स्टे दैट इफ माई बॉडी विल जस्ट गेट टच विद द पंडा सो दिस काइंड ऑफ आचरण यू कैन सी दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट भाव देर आर टू काइंड देर आर टू प्रोसीजर देर आर टू पाथवेज दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो देर सहिष्णु दर जस्ट देर टॉलरेंस लाइक अ ट्री and they are just uh, thinking themselves as more humbler than blade of grass and they are just showing the secondly they are showing the uh, tolerance like a tree even the tree is just cut by someone still tree will not speak anything to anyone and if the water is not given to true and all the there is dryness there but still that tree will not be asking water from anyone if someone is actually uh, want something from the tree they are giving whatever fruit tree and whatever that uh, you want leaves and everything from the tree they will provide but if you need food also you can take that no worries but they are not speaking anything to anyone and all the time on their own that according to our vichar it is the most miserable condition they are at that tree is just standing in the sun he is not the tree is not speaking that oh 48 degrees celsius oh just take me i need some water they are not speaking like that the tree is not speaking like that and the tree the glorification of tree is so much that those people those persons who are actually just cutting the branches of tree just for wood and that same person in the rainfall will definitely be standing in uh, beside that tree under that tree the tree you can speak that two minutes before you are just cutting me and now you are just coming under my shadow what is the point the so tree is not speaking like that okay you want to take rest you can take rest no worries and at the same time he is cutting the branches as well so this kind of tolerance so this actually is speaking mahaprabhu that this tree this kind of tolerance should be there koi prarthana koi if some prayer is actually if actually just taking some desires and wishes definitely with that desires will just get uh, fulfilled because he is one chakalpatru in front of a sadhu then he will come someone will come that that he is actually top most with one is top most studious in everything he is just top most so much to amat but still he is thinking of sanatan like sanatan roop they are just uh, uh, confronting themselves that they are fallen but they are actually top most but men sanatan and roop for the first time they just came to ramkeli village mahaprabhu has just told this point in front that people are asking that they just need to go to vrindavan they just need to go to vrindavan why they have just came here mahaprabhu just uh, told that uh, the people are actually asking sanatan that why you have just come to ramkeli you have just go to vrindavan nobody knows that what is the actual motive of me what is the actual motive where what i want just in order to just meet you that's why i just came here to ramkeli where that is the actual motive to come here oh okay okay and in the night time sanatan and roop they have just uh, all changed their clothes and uh, and they have just came in front of mahaprabhu by changing their clothes and all also taken anupam all these three brothers have just came in front of mahaprabhu and just fallen in onto the lotus feet of mahaprabhu and speaking oh please forgive me this kind of condition is their miserable condition and somewhere some mahajan is actually speaking there is one child is also there that is called jeev goswami somewhere it is already is, uh, written there that but when they have just all these three brothers just came with the very change clothes they have just came in front of mahaprabhu that one child also came there in front of that is called jeev goswami there can this can be possibility there is no surprising mood about this 
So, but what is the actual fault in them? Nothing is there. So, whatever is there, so whatever rainfall is there, whatever sun is there, everyone without any fighting, there is no complaint about that. All the tolerance is there in that tree. Said Uttam Vashnam, that is the actual symptom of them. Then maybe that uh, lot of power is there in them, but still they are actually thinking themselves as I am the most fallen. I am nothing. Maybe that their family is very topmost. They have got their uh, stu studies also topmost. They are uh, in looking also very beautiful. Everything is topmost in their all qualities, but still they are thinking themselves, Oh, I am the most fallen with full merciful attitude. No, actually, kind of false ego is there inside their heart, even a smell is not there. And to give respect to all other jivas, the, all the jivas you don't need to cut them, don't do any kind of insa to them, don't do that. Because all these jivas is there, so Krishna is there, swam in the 11th canto also Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav. That uh, Bhagavan is just speaking to Uddhav. They are actually just doing my puja and doing my arati. And in the same way, they are just cutting and murdering all the jivas at the, in the, at the same point. And they are just doing puja of myth. What kind of puja or worship is this? So inside Jiva, this Krishna Dishthan is there, Krishna is there inside. So just in order to understand that, be careful about that. Don't uh, kill anyone and always just respect all the Jivas. And after that, in Chaitanya Chaitamrit it is written that if this kind of uh, thing is happening, if it is happening, and when you, he is doing uh, Krishna Nam like that, that in, at Krishna, when he has hundred percent faith, definitely that Krishna Prem will come on onto the lotus feet of Krishna. If it like this, he will be doing. Then definitely he will get Krishna. Man. He, at the lotus feet of Krishna, Prem, uh, Krishna, he will get Prema definitely. That is the topmost thing. Prabhupada also has just given a uh, commentary on this. Because those who are Bhukta, it is be careful about this point, be attentive on this point. That those, those who are taking the Nam according to that, According to the, that paddhiti, what you are just taking, according to the procedure, what you are taking, and according to that procedure, you are doing Harinam, that hari, Nama Parad is not done and Nama Vas is not done. That kind of procedure, you just need to adopt. We just need to adopt that kind of Taranada Bhiba, we just need to take that in our own life. Because that those who are Krishna Unmukhi, not to get rid of Krishna Unmukh, we, that all enjoying mood is just getting destroyed of this material world. And you are thinking that he cannot be Tranadapi when he has enjoying mood inside him. There is a lot of uh, uh, things regarding this I can speak because Prabhupada speaking. That uh, in our uh, life, that is the no, final goal is not like this, that we will be just taking lot of money. The, that's why doing this, definitely you will be doing a prad on the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava by doing this. That false ego will definitely come inside your heart. So Prabhupada actually speaking, that with Ranadapi Bhav, in order to maintain that, definitely uh, to do actual Harinam is possible, otherwise it is not possible. When inside the Jivas that their Jiva is, uh, they are forgetting Krishna. When the heart of Jivas are not becoming, they are becoming uh, 
in to this material world those who are always they are busy in this material world and they are not at all busy with hari bhajan and if you will do that analysis of this point if whatever in your life you have in your life that about the enjoying mood you just analyze that then definitely you will get the positive result and if you are actually inside your what that bhog that enjoying mood is there that analytical analysis you should survey you should do and when you will be doing that survey then you can just see that definitely those who have that more uh, enjoying mood they have more tendency to enjoy definitely they will be they will not be having that ranada peep and merciful attitude on any, any other because at, to get enjoying mood that they are merciless they are merciless why merciless what is the point because whatever this tendency of getting more enjoyment jo whatever is the tendency of getting more in your what in, what enjoyment what kind of if there someone will question what you what kind of enjoyment you are saying any kind of enjoyments by body speech mind all five elements relating to five elements whatever this enjoying uh, elements are there in this material world all are basically just related to your uh, five elements all are actually just going in the, whatever they their taste they are getting they are just going in that they are actually just attracted to this so actually you need you are actually thinking that is enjoyment that's why you are just getting attracted why you are getting definitely you are getting enjoying mood that's why you are going that is also kind enjoying mood one kind of enjoyment so that is called bhog someone has done kitchen for me actually i am very fond of eating and actually i am very fond of eating actually you just um, give aloo paratha and for you are actually cooked one aloo paratha somebody will cook definitely maybe some chachi some wife some any relative will just cook that so this enjoying mood that that energy he has to give that means that maybe some of my relatives or anyone of my relatives definitely they will just become a mode of enjoyment for me oh, oh he will be going in the car very nicely so how i can just uh, he has just given lot of money so definitely he'll get enjoyment so i will just cook some paratha for him so like this whatever the energy whatever money whatever is there he is just spending on that on us definitely this is this will just become one kind of enjoying mood for me my enjoying mood will get maturity whatever kind of enjoying mood is there in this whole material world somebody wants the enjoying in touch he will just be going to the cross quarter he just need to give his energy because he will just get an anand by that he just need to give uh, money to the cross so like this if we can just see that that in this bhog dharma there is no mercy attitude there is merciless they are all merciless in true sense externally in this material world everything can be done oh medicine actually is giving without is giving to all the food to all the poor people he don't have any mercy proper speaking that is not mercy at all actual mercy it is not that this is not actual mercy this is not at all actual mercy he is speaking very sweet words and giving some donation and everything he has done and some relative has done whosoever has done some chachi chacha whatever is done and some has done given some medicine some clothes to someone some poor people everything he has done so without just leaving bhagavad bhakti who is just leaving the pathway of bhagavad bhakti and just giving the opposite pathway to others and just give to that is actually called jeevinsa that is jeevinsa just be attentive about this point open your ears and hear that those people who is actually habituated in enjoying mood who is all the time busy with enjoyment from the start till the end this enjoying mood is there that bhog dharm is there so those who are already pratishthit in bhog dharm in enjoying mood 
दे आर एक्चुअली मर्सीलेस वॉट एवर वी आर एक्चुअली नथिंग आई एम नथिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ विच आर इज नॉट कमिंग इन साइड दैट पर्सन that uh, he is not thinking that i am such a small person i am such a fallen person when the person actually with his all senses material sense organs he is uh, not thinking about of his uh, material sense organs when he is becoming totally off from that and he don't have that attachment he has just left uh, enjoyment and he has also left detachment it is not like that i just want to speak that that uh, his uh, enjoying mood maturity is not getting at all now and at the same time he is not feeling detachment as well that balance is just maintained now that bhog dharma that uh, maturity is not getting incremented now so after that when the enjoying mood is there so definitely he will going to that detachment mood he will go there bhog whether enjoying whether detachment there is no question of bhakti in that so that's why the enjoying mood when it is going out from there then definitely do one thing that all the things you just uh, with all proper adjustment you just need to uh, make sure you are just uh, doing it in service of bhagwan but if you will just be uh, thinking uh, if you have some attraction in the vishay then there is also bondage and if you are just uh, getting a very bad mood against uh, the material things then it is also one kind of bondage so there will be one proper adjustment you just need to i have already told a lot of time before in the english hari katha as well that in calcutta gaudiya math there is one person with a very small child he is just taking on his in his lap with all his wife and everyone he is just quipping dandwa to prabhupad when he just went to the math some brahmachari has questioned to him so actually foolish question he has just put then they have just become surprised all actually speaking rubbish to them he actually that brahmachari what is what is their actual fault those grasps actually that conus just came to prabhupad actually that brahmachari is speaking uh, one person is just speaking foul words to that person why because he is actually that child is there on his lap that is the actual uh, fault in him so prabhupad speaking actually In definitely he will not stay in the mud he will just go out because there is a material lust inside his heart there is lust is in, inside is that why it is not at all acceptable for him to accept that so what is the actual reason behind getting angry in that you don't have any attraction in yourself and there is no heinous mood also there so all proper adjustment you are actually just putting in the service of bhagwan that in the in bhukta that enjoying mood those who want to enjoy in that their dharm is that apna shamanno main kuch nahi that they thinking that i am nothing this kind of vichar is not there in him in the enjoyer always thinking that i am always enjoying and he is thinking that i am the doer he has that false ego definitely he has that false ego so in the dharma bhukta this kudrata that fallen that fallen bhav that i am always fallen this kind of very uh, that fallen man fallen mood is not at all there inside him why because enjoyer means that who are who are enjoyer that i am the doer i am the enjoyer i am the donator everything he is thinking i am so this kind of vichar will be there inside him so in the there is not at all any uh, uh, tolerance in him at all that is the actually practically if i'll give you one example a lot of time will go those who are enjoyer <coughs> who is always having think that i am doing this i am doing that so this definitely they don't have any kind of tolerance also they don't have that they don't have any kind of tolerance in them you just see that whosoever is the enjoyer if you have that kind of uh, uh, have kind of uh, will they don't have any kind of tolerance and those vaishnavas from they do they have the topmost tolerance more than himalaya more than tolerance than the earth vaishnavas have the but the enjoyer 
दे हैव ऑलवेज हैव दिस कॉल्ड ऑफ जड़ प्रतिष्ठा एंड मटेरियल प्रतिष्ठा एंड मटेरियल फॉल्स ईगो इज देयर ऑलवेज ऑल द टाइम इनसाइड इज हार्ट एंजॉयर विल डेफिनेटली नॉट लीव एनी जड़ प्रतिष्ठ जड़ प्रतिष्ठा मटेरियल प्रतिष्ठा एंड मटेरियल एंजॉयमेंट इज नॉट एट ऑल रेडी टू क्विट दैट लीव दैट you see that maybe one very rich man he is actually with the other rich man he just want to make one competition there is actually vishay bhog material enjoyment is there and he is just making he is actually just uh, not not at all giving pratishtha to the other rich man maybe according to some system he is giving the pratishtha but inside his heart there is no this kind of bhava there is one singer he is not at all giving pratishtha oh he is actually nothing if one oh he actually thinking that oh who is this so this kind of competition mood is there they are actually uh, making everyone into fallen that he is fallen that i am i am up so like this bhav that i am so much rich and uh, lot of people are there who can be more rich than me they are he is not thinking so that enjoyer actually definitely other enjoyers he will not be giving respect to other enjoyers that the enjoyer who is always having that jealousy mood inside his heart oh maharaj so much actually respect is there mom where is my respect this actually vishay bhogi all the time having and the naam bhajan kari vaishnav he is just thinking himself as the he is becoming more tolerant than the tree and more humbler than the blade of grass all the time he is getting giving respect to others and always thinking himself as is fallen he is always thinking like this so this kind of person uh, in this material world they are doing all the time harinam and this kind of uh, capacity they have to do harinam like haridas thakur so in this material world if uh, some uh, big devotee like this and topmost person we can find then they are all the time they are doing harinam this kind of capacity is there this kind of samarth is there otherwise other persons are not like them maybe they are speaking like this that whatever is there that yoga chare this chare they are nothing at all they are nothing phaka they are just like everything is useless all is actually mehroli there is one one servant who was there uh, uh, was working in some with some zamindar and uh, actually everything is destroyed from is actually all the black history of uh, who had, uh, the queen has just uh, done something wrong and just going to someone that is all the black history and this servant mehroli is actually knows he knows each and everything about the king that queen has gone which place and what the king is going what the minister has done but he is not speaking anything to anyone very very quiet keep quiet he ravindra thakur has just written this and after that what happened when he that servant also got killed and he become a ghost and this mehroli that servant it's already written there that whole night he is just speaking everything is wrong everything is wrong ha 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 everything is everything is lie everything is lie nothing is uh, true everything is lie like this everything is lie whatever pratishta whatever disciple you are getting this but tranadapi is very far distant thing even in dream also this you can't touch that tranadapi bhav it's very big thing by very easy to get drama huh. but uh, in actual to apply this not possible so whatever bhav only that sadhu is having this kind of bhav dranadapi bhav all the time this naam sankirtan is why because he is all the time he don't have any kind of uh, thing that who giving that some respect to him or giving mala to him he don't think of anything like this he don't have any kind of thinking like this that someone is giving me pratishtha or like that so whosoever uh, vishuddha vaishnav gana there they are according to their uh, gurudev and according to pure guru vaishnav they are all the time giving uh, uh, pratishtha and respect to other guru vaishnav they are not at all uh, 
or not at all there in mental dham but those shuddh bhakt whether they are whatever pratishtha they are getting in their life definitely they will not be taking that on their own but they will be just giving that pratishtha to their pure guru vaishnav they are giving it to the guru charan and then that uh, pratishtha will be given to that upper guru so like this pratishtha is just getting transferred in course of rolling condition can reach up to that akar that will definitely go on to the lotus feet of nitanand balram baldav ji maharaj and slowly steadily that pratishtha going to the lotus feet of balram ji who oh, everything maharaj you gave it to that after that it will go those who have that adhikar balram that anant dev nitya that's why you can see after kirtan you are not thinking kirtan it is written there chauran sattu you have already read this point you have read the kirtan what do you mean by this that nitai is actually the uh, his uh, eternally true her his lotus feet and those who are devotees who are just uh, serving their lotus lotus feet or a guru work are all nitya or all absolute truth those who don't have any don't who have any present situation no stability is there to to give them pratishtha what you will do you have an understand my point that pratishtha that actual word means that pratishtha that that but object which is eternal bearing you just need to give that but this material world there is no absolute thing is there so those who just want that pratishtha that in this whole material world infinity material world those who whatever pratishtha is there all pratishtha that is the actual ruler uh, nitanand balram is the ruler of every pratishtha why because his acharan is nitya his uh, lotus feet is nitya he is all the time doing the service of bhagwan so what kind of uh, respect is there that is radhanani that is uh, anang manjari that is uh, baldav ji maharaj if you will just be doing this vichar you just think of this what i am speaking means who have that eternal situation condition so whatever building land property whatever is there of this material world who are becoming the jagat guru they are all actually bogi all fraudster they are for them it is good to give them pratishtha but all material world is giving pratishtha to them they are foolish so what to do in that they don't know the meaning of pratishtha actually what do you mean by pratishtha they don't know so okay what to do now so but your guru vaishnav everything is giving them to their guru work so jeevin sir have already told you that if that is jeevin sir when you are not actually not speaking the glorification of hari naam to anyone and you are just giving the pathway other than hari bhajan so definitely that person will get up rather than to the lotus feet of other if you are knowingly knowingly if you are just uh, not speaking uh, hari katha and he is doing all the wrong things that is my rule there is one child who is 15 to 16 years old he is actually speaking all rubbish to one sanyasi i just uh, taking him and is speaking you just uh, p- p- put sorry to him speak sorry to him so so why you are speaking like this so he actually just is speaking that then in sanyasi actually is my god brother actually is speaking that you have just done a very big thing that otherwise the child will just get destroyed so that is the actual rule so if this situation i just see that then if i'll just be sp- not be speaking in front of then definitely that dosh will come on me aparad will come on me if one sanyasi at the night time 9 to 9:30 he is actually speaking to that brahmachari that one brahmachari he is speaking that you do take one four chapati and one milk you just uh, give it to one mata ji there upstairs i speaking that definitely you will not go you will not go there he actually just become angry with me why actually i will not be giving answer of why what you are speaking i will not be giving you the answer 
मे बी यू विल बी ए इंटरनेशनल प्रीचर यू आर गोइंग टू ऑर फॉरन कंट्रीज दिस टाइम बट आई विल आई नो वॉट इज देयर वॉट विल बी द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट सो दैट्स वाई आई एम नॉट स्पीकिंग एनी थिंग टू एनी वन आई विल जस्ट बी सींग द ब्रह्मचारी आई यू जस्ट डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट यू बिकम एंग्री एंड दे आर जस्ट पुटिंग नॉन वायलेंस इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एंड ऑल द महाराज इज जस्ट गोइंग अगेंस्ट मी एंड जस्ट स्पीकिंग फॉल वर्ड टू मी दैट ही डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ माता जी सो दिस काइंड ऑफ Uh, foul word is speaking to me i am uh, speaking okay i have just like tolerated everything and after that it is proved that whatever they have just done all cast caught in water nobody is there everyone is just gone into fallen condition all those mata ji has just went on the sanyasi also is just caught into fallen condition lot of conditions he has just gone into fallen so why and what this kind of question is just coming this is a very in depth discussion about this but they are not at all uh, thinking of this they are thinking that brahmachari sanyasis and math and temple everything it is just for my own enjoyment they are thinking like this one day there is one brahmachari at that in that period maybe that he has got 50 rupees and he has just just uh, want to just uh, in the math i was there and i was just seeing that whatever he is doing what and he is just given 50 rupees to he is just uh, washing the clothes of sanyasi he is giving 50 rupees to brahmachari after that the news he has given 50 rupees to him after that i was just become more what he has done he is giving rup- what kind of maharaj he is what is the disciple of that is giving 50 rupees to brahmachari and just uh, washing his clothes he is actually he is as he is foolish he has just i am i just given actually one roaring thing you just want to make them businessman if you want to wash your clothes what you don't have any character you have some shraddha then definitely automatically they will do why you are actually giving money to them and uh, just uh, washing this is just like vaishya vritti pros vritti prostitute vritti this kind of thing everything is going on like this those who have money power they will be just staying in the, this temple otherwise not so just by those proper speaking those who are naam ucharan kari those who are speaking the uh, uh, naam all those pure devotees they are in this material world they are thinking they are thinking themselves as thinking themselves as most fallen than all the other uh, jeevas all the all the trend ka they like uh, they are thinking themselves uh, as the most fallen of all the jeevas and that's why uh, that aprakri satya vachan that they have the capacity to speak otherwise don't others don't have that capacity to speak about that absolute truth only these pure vaishnavas have that capacity so those who are pure devotees they are actually whatever uh, all jeevas are there in this material world they are just want to they are just uh, thinking themselves as the most uh, Uh, humbler than that uh, blade of that grass so that is uh, more important to just to face that absolute truth nobody has this kind of uh, grudge to just face that absolute truth it means that who are facing that absolute truth they have, have actually having the dranada bhav prabhupada actually speaking that kapat bhav in bengali prabhupada speaking prabhupada speaking in bengali that uh, in akupa ko bhav just need to show akupa ko bhav that is not at all merciful that to speak sweet words is not at all actual dhanya but these material people they are so like owl they are so foolish what to speak they are actually just thinking themselves they are just all doing bandara okay you want to die just go die you just go to chula what to speak those pure devotees they are uh, not at all uh, thinking themselves they are thinking themselves that i am the most fallen they are thinking themselves that all are their disciples in each and every jeeva they are just thinking that in each and every heart there is krishna there they are just respecting them so they are not thinking that he is my servant he will just be like hiranya kashipu you see hiranya kashipu is so much actually foolish that he is thinking themselves as most gyani he is he is thinking that he is thinking prahlad maharaj as his servant that he is actually the object of my enjoying mood he don't know actually 
that this child actually is actually your guru. This Pralad actually is your guru. You are thinking them himself that you he is your son. No, he is actually not listening to me. What you foolish you are actually. Hiranya Kishpu, he is just a five years old boy. That Pralad Maharaj, he is thinking himself as his enjoying uh, mood. That he will be just listening to me. I have just listened a lot of things that here my thing is not possible. So what will uh, where there Bhagwan is there? Then you just need to go according to that. Actually, only wife is just uh, putting pressure on me. Where actually you should go there? Where actually Bhagwan is there? But no, I will definitely stay. She will he will stay with the wife only there. And after that, this kind of prem is there. Foolish lust is there, not prem. So. Those who are actually doing Naam Ucharan, they are actually not thinking themselves. They are thinking themselves that I, they are the topmost. And they are doing, uh, they are not at all doing any hinsa on anyone. This actually I have seen all kind of characteristics in Gurudev I have seen. This kind of topmost characteristics and symptoms. And inside Vaishnavas we have already seen this kind of quality. That's why we are alive. Otherwise we must have died a long time. If we haven't seen that quality, definitely I must have died a long time back. I have already seen all the Guru work, what Thakurji has, to, Krishna has just shown me. After that, I am just thinking of this time. Otherwise I must have died a long before. I, if someone is going to just uh, bluff you, then definitely he don't have the capacity to just bluff me by just giving me Pratishta and money. Oh, if you want money, you can take. You are you want to give me price, you, I don't want. You just take. One person is coming so nice fruits and in a large bag. I just told to Tarun Prabhu, you just take all those fruits, you can go to Bhakti Thakur. Even one single fruit we will not be taking. I know that for for whom I want to take and I want, don't want to take. I will not take his fruits. One person has just doing some drama. He has just got into fallen condition. I will not be speaking his name. He has just given me some rice. And unknowingly he knows. He has given me some rice. About how much he has given? He has given 10 kg. You just give to Bhakti Thakur and you just give him money also. Yes, you give him money also. May you give him 1,000 rupees. And after that, oh, no worries. By our own money, it will go everything. You, he has given given me 10 kg rice and you just give me, you give donation to this Bhakti Thakur, this rice and give him 1,000 rupees also. So, Kapat Sanyasi. So, this kind of vichar of mine, that is on the Adhar of Guru, Guru Vichar, or onto the achar of Guru Varg, what they are doing. According to what others are speaking, I will not be going. Maybe I will be dying, but still I will not be going according to their will. I will be going according to the vichar of Guru Varg. I will be just thinking of that, I will be going according to that. And I will not be taking the vichar of other one. Whether he is a very rich man, I will not be hearing his thing. I will not be following him. The Kirtan Kari, Prabhupada speaking all, all the time, that those who are Kirtan Kari, they are actually whatever the pranali shown by Gurudev and Guru Varga, the procedure shown by the way out shown by Gurudev and all are Guru Varga, the Kirtan Kari, whatever the, the pranali, the procedure, the way out shown by the bhajan pranali shown by, they will not be leaving that and they will not be uh, taking a new bhajan pranali of their own but nobody knows about this nobody knows about this kind of vichar what i'm speaking all the all the material we all speaking oh hari bol like this very nice question of topmost question but they don't know that this acharya has just made some new organization but according to the upadesh amrita i have already told this point that bhakti no thakur actually speaking that inside his heart there is Lapuja Pradishta he requires. That's why he has just made a new organization, new pathway. And you know, very short period you will see Bhakti Nath Thakur has just promised us this thing. That within short period, very short period, that Acharya and they're all their followers, 
and the procedure performed by them all will go to it will get extinct it will just get destroyed you, this new new kind of organization we don't have this kind of capacity to long to uh, the new procedure the new pathway it will not uh, run long and i have seen that whole material world has just got looted but you just hear this point that this new organization will not stay for long bhakti vinod thakur has already promised this thing had just spoken this point in front of all that this kind of new organization those followers of that new organization and the acharya do going to invent that new organization definitely will go in water nothing will stay for long time it will not stay for long they are they just want to loot that okay for 50 years he will just loot you just want to loot the money for infinity what is the 50 years okay but that absolute truth will not uh, uh, they will actually understand this point maybe today or tomorrow they will understand what is the actual pathway of absolute truth they need to go that they have to follow the mahajans they definitely have to follow this pantha or this pathway that, that is my promise and definitely i will be just speaking it tomorrow about this point and we will going tomorrow and today i will be just giving it rest that will be more good because we have very less time and uh, we don't have any time any procedure to follow apart from that aho bato sapachato aho bato sapacho ato goriyan jajju bhagre vartate nam tobhyam ते पूतपस्ते जुहुभूसुस्नराय ब्रह्मचूर्नाम गृणंति ते जेते अहो बतो शपच अतो गरियान जज्युभाग्र वर्तते नाम तो भ्याम ते पूस्तपस्ते जुहुभूसुस्नराय ब्रह्मान उचूर्नाम गृणंति जेते वांछ कल्पतरुष के बासिंद भविष्य पतितानंद पावन भ्यो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो